Hey guys, me. I haven't done a video in quite a while now, so I figured I'd better do some sort of update. I actually have a point to my video today for once, and today it's going to be about names and how, as anybody transgender, obviously, if they don't want to keep their name, because maybe it's one of those names that sort of fit both genders, like, I don't know, Chris, Sam, Alex, all of that, it just it's hard work for anybody that does feel that they need to. For example, with my old name being such a feminine name, I knew that I needed to change it, which I did do. I changed it to Brett. I've been living with that name for three months now. Yeah, three, three months today, look at that. And I've decided that after these three months, I still, I don't connect with it as well as I could do. When people call me by that name, it just, uh, it doesn't click as such. So yeah, I'm trying to think up a new first name. I've been getting quite a lot of feedback off of people off Facebook, but I thought if I do this video, I might be able to get a bit more feedback. And also, I kind of wanted to talk about this topic for those people that probably felt a bit like me and thought, I can't change my name again because people get angry at me, people will think that I'm just messing them around. I, whatever people will probably like to think. Don't let anybody control your life in that sense. It's your name, it's your life, it's your choice. I mean, obviously, go, ask people for their advice. I mean, I've done that. I've asked loads of people for advice. I still need to ask my family, but I was going to get a list of names together first and then go through it with my family and see which they'd prefer out of the ones that I quite like. So yeah, I'm uh, currently getting that sorted. What I don't want is for people to feel like they're being forced into picking a certain name. A lot of people say, I'll oh, pick a name that's close to your old name. For example, the closest thing to my old name would be Jamie, but I don't like the name Jamie, which as a first name that is. I mean, I've got it as my second middle name. Just so it's still there, because I know that my family really like it, but I just, I don't like it myself. Don't feel forced into doing it if you don't like it, if you don't click with it, if you don't feel comfortable with it, and really sit down and think about what you want. Because obviously you can change your name as many times as you want, you're just making it more difficult for yourself depending on how far you've gone with the name change. So if you've changed your passport, your driving licence, all of this, you're making it a lot harder for yourself having to repay to get it all done again. Whereas if you've just done it by deed poll or if you've just done it socially, then it's not so much of a problem to change it. So if, like myself, I've changed my deed poll and I've changed my bank details, but they were both free, so I can easily do that again. I feel like I should give you the list of names so you have an idea of what I'm going with already. The favorite one that everyone seems to be going with is Ethan. I quite like Ethan. I think it suits me, it's, it's not bad. And then we've got Jack. Jack is the second favorite at the moment. Then you've got changing my middle names to my first names. I explained Jamie that I don't want that, but some people have said don't get a new first name, make Dean your first name, so then it's Dean Jamie. Tempted, but need a good think. And we got James, Hugo, Freddie, Cameron, Shane, Eric, Owen, Darren, Ryan, Corey, Ricky, Mick, Miles, Rory, Bradley, Alec. What a list. There's, there's quite a mix of names there, in all honesty. I know that I definitely want to go for a more masculine name, but if you hear it, you will associate it more with a male, just because I think in my opinion, if you have had such a feminine name, you kind of want to go the full change. You want something completely different just to, I don't know, like, I, I wouldn't say prove it to yourself, but just, actually, I don't really have an answer for that. You just might want to go the full masculine way and ha so that nobody could possibly misgender you through your name, which I still get with Brett. So I obviously need to pick a more masculine name. Freddy I quite like. Freddy's quite cool. I don't know if I'd suit a Freddy though. And I'm just staring at myself in the camera thinking, do I, don't I? And I'm just really not sure. Cameron, probably not. I see Corey. Corey? I'm not sure about Jack. A lot of people say Jack. A lot of people said Daniel as well. I'm not sure. If I, no, I didn't put Daniel down. But Dan, Danny, Daniel, possibly. Who knows? I have Brooke as well. I'm not sure about Brooke. I, I did like it at first, but after thinking about it a lot, I'm not. I'm really not sure about Brooke. If you've got any ideas, please, please, either put comment uh, on my Tumblr. I mean, I've got my ask and my submit finally up and running after my settings were just being an absolute meanie to me. You can now actually ask me things on Tumblr for once. Uh, comment on the YouTube panel, panel, channel. Wow, I'm tired. Or on Trans Life channel 
on the actual YouTube one or on their Facebook page. We've got a Facebook page up and running. I'm sure most of you have seen it. Give me an ask, whatever. Give me an option for a name. Name me, basically. Please. Pretty please. I might put that as a hashtag. Maybe start a trend of something. Name me. I shall talk to all of you soon. Uh, Lucy and I should have something, hopefully have something by Christmas, if not start of the new year. A proper video rather than these self-made thingies with a bit more editing and a bit more love rather than sitting in a car chatting. Um, but yeah, I shall talk to all of you soon. So, ciao!